Are you suffering from persistent tightness or discomfort in your upper traps? Stretching or using a cross ball to roll it out causes temporary relief, but the symptoms always come back. Hey everyone, this is Dr. Zach Pruitt here, Performance Sport and Spine, and today's video will talk about why stretching isn't getting the tightness to go away, what's actually causing the tightness, and then the best exercises to resolve this more permanently. So quickly reviewing our anatomy, the upper trap muscle is located above the shoulder blade from the shoulder to the base of the neck and it works with elevating and upwards rotating the shoulder blade. Now this is the, one of the most common chronic conditions affecting the neck and shoulder and it's characterized by pain, tightness, and tenderness with palpation over the upper trap muscle and it's reported that it affects up to 38% of desk workers. So what is causing this pain or discomfort that you're feeling? Well if you look at these research papers it shows that there's actually changes to your muscle fibers there's actually a decrease in blood flow for a variety of reasons, and then there's a lack of strength and capacity. So now we're going to go over exercises, but first you might be thinking, but wait, if my muscles are already tight, won't exercise just make them tighter? But the truth is, exercises actually address the reasons that we just talked about, as well as as you exercise the muscle, it becomes healthier, and it causes the muscles to relax. If a muscle is inactive and you avoid using it, it actually will make the muscle tight. So by increasing the strength and health of the muscle and improving the blood flow, it actually causes your symptoms to go away. So overhead shrug, facing the wall with your hands above your head, gently squeeze your abs and your glutes to minimize any spinal movement, and then you're gonna shrug your hands up towards the ceiling and down. Make sure the movement comes from your shoulder blades so you should feel tension over your upper trap, and don't just simply bend your elbows. Make sure your elbows stay kind of stationary and shrug up to the ceiling with your traps and down. Again, the movement comes from your shoulder blades and you wanna minimize any spinal movement by squeezing your abs and glutes gently. We recommend starting three times a week two sets of 10 to 12 reps. And again, the range of motion doesn't matter, it's more effort-based, and it's always better to start a little bit slower than be too aggressive and be too sore the next day. Banded lateral raise, stepping on the band with one leg, hold it with the opposite arm, and then raising the arm out laterally, keeping your elbows straight. You should feel tension over this trap and this deltoid, and again, there's no right or wrong range of motion, it's more effort, so reach up as far as you feel comfortable, and down. We recommend three times a week, two sets of 10 to 12 reps. And again, you may need to increase this or decrease based on your current fitness level, please do so. Some people may find it more comfortable to turn the wrist this way. If so, please do. And again, if it's a little too challenging at first, step farther away on the band and decrease the resistance. And then as you get stronger, increase over time. If you don't have a resistance band, you can do the lateral raise with a weight, such as I'm demonstrating here, or you can just use a book or a rock, it doesn't really matter. Use whatever you can, and again, keep your elbow straight, feeling tension in the upper trap. The monkey shrug, grabbing relatively light dumbbells, you're gonna bend your elbows at 30 degrees, which helps put the shoulder blades in upper rotation, and then using your shoulder blades, you're gonna shrug up towards the ceiling and down, feeling some gentle dull tension in your upper traps. Same sets and reps apply as the previous ones, and again, adjust to your current fit fitness level if needed. Again, you should feel tension in your traps and not your neck. Again, try to minimize any elbow bending so the elbows stay bent and then just shrug up and down to your current tolerance. So if the overhead reach gets too easy, you can place weights in your hands and then again, just keeping your glutes and abs squeezed, you can press your hands up and down. And again, this is increases the intensity. So this is a good option to progress the previous one. And again, the same sets and reps apply. So these exercises are super effective at addressing this condition, but again, doses does matter. If you start off at two sets of 10 and you're sore for three days, that's simply just too much. Right exercise, just wrong dosage. So again, wait till you're back to baseline and then start something like one set of eight or two sets of six and then progress from there. Thank you so much for watching our video. This is a very stubborn condition and these exercises will definitely help you. If you did find this video helpful, please like the video and subscribe to our channel.